Hello, Libra viewers. So today I'm going to be looking into what your person is feeling, thinking, uh, wanting with you, what action they might be taking towards you the next couple weeks. Just general check-in with their energy, seeing what's going on with them. All right, so for the Libras that are drawn to this video, what is the story? Please be clear and direct. What what new updates what do we have regarding this situation? They're going to take action towards you. Just what is going on with this connection? What's going on with this connection, Libras? Libras. Eight cards. So Lionsgate 888, that came up. Ooh, hello. Hello. Three of Swords, it's good though, because it's in the past and you're moving forward from it. Uh, the Chariot, Eight of Swords, King of Cups. Could even be me moving forward with somebody, because remember the last reading I got? Let me see. Hold on. The Sun, Nine of Swords, Six of Swords. Yeah, you're starting, it's like you're starting this new life. You're moving forward. It's a really good energy, actually. I'm hearing the song, I channeled this for another group a while ago too, the song, um, Echo by Trapped, just like I'll run away with you by my side. I'm getting this very like romantic, strong, like I'm going to run away with you type energy is really good. Um, I'm going to, I'll post, I'll try to remember to post that song in the comments below so you guys have the title and you can look it up. That's a song I just channeled for this group. You know, the last Libra reading I did, I was getting that you're basically their safe space. You know, you saw a side of them. You see a side of them that no one else sees. You know, they can be themselves with you. They can be vulnerable and open with you. You just, this is like a very deep, romantic, almost like an innocent sort of connection. There's like this, I don't know if it's like a playfulness or what it is that I pick up. It's just like this vulnerability between you guys. You can just be so vulnerable with each other in ways that you can't be with other people. Um, there's just this this deep understanding between you two, like deep conversations or just just this very deep, very beautiful, pure connection that I feel here. This could be a third party situation, and I think they're wanting to leave the karmic if that's the case. I do do third party uh, readings frequently, so if this is resonating with you, go ahead and subscribe to me below. Um, you know, I, I, I frequently do the third party readings so that if you're in that situation, I'll be posting those updates pretty regularly too. Um, cause I just get that they're, I, they're leaving something behind. You see this back and forth energy. It's like three of swords, eight of swords, chariot, king of cups, the sun moving forward. It's like they're, they're choosing to leave something behind that either was or is hurting them a lot. It was something that was just breaking their heart. And I think they're just, they're wanting a new life, you know, with the sun here and the six of swords, it's like very similar energy. They're just, this person is just, they're wanting a fresh start. They're wanting a new life. And I think that new life is with you. I just get this very like romantic energy from this reading, like this, like run away with me type energy. Like let's start over together. Let's run away. Let's, let's move to a new location. Maybe they might be running, wanting to actually get out of state or out of the country, out of the country out of the state with you possibly for some of you um it would make sense if they have like a karmic maybe they're trying to if there's like a custody battle maybe they're just hoping they can win the custody battle and just like run off with you um after you know get custody of their kid and just run off and start a new life with you but for some of you and that's not for, not for all of you but for some of you i do just sense this like wanting to go on a trip with you wanting to travel with you um, or just wanting to like start a new life somewhere else. I feel like there's like bad memories where they live, wherever it is that they're living. It's just like, yeah, there's like these, I don't know. There's just like stress or just bad memories with the place that they're at and they're wanting out of that environment. They're wanting to be in a new environment. So this could actually be like moving to a new city, new state, new country. This could also just be them wanting to move to a new place, like wanting to move in with you, wanting to get an apartment with you. Um, not wanting to live in the situation, the living situation that they're in, I feel is not the best or they're just not happy with it. It could just be that it's stagnant too. It's like they've seen the same old, same old thing every day for so long. It's like they want something new, something fresh. So there's this very high vibrational, just free spirited, loving, romantic, you know, young love kind of puppy love kind of energy here. It's very beautiful. Uh, 
with the lion's gate there's a lot of energy coming in for you guys with that with with everyone with especially this group uh 888 or not 888 88 2020 i don't know why i said 888 but um saturday saturday is august 8th see they're like okay do you see this energy i don't usually talk like this i feel like i'm channeling their energy they're like a schoolboy or a schoolgirl they're like so excited and like nervous around you and so like just happy I don't know if you said something recently that made them happy or they're thinking about things you said in the past that made them really happy um or they're planning on like asking you to run away or asking you to start a new life with them and they're getting really excited and really working themselves up on how to say it because I like I don't stutter that often I mean once in a while I do but it's like this very like cutesy nervous energy I get from this group right now um it's it's good though it's really good energy this is probably the best zodiac reading I've done um since I started today uh it's like this shy nervous like sweet romantic energy it's really cute but yeah they're wanting they're just wanting new energy they're wanting to start over they want to like redo their life so this could be they could be going through like a tower moment like having some major life changes like leaving a toxic relationship like a third party uh leaving an old stagnant job i think for some of them you know i got that energy before of them just like working like a nine to five job or just working a job that they weren't happy with or living in a situation they're not happy with just like just numbing energy around them basically just not being able to be themselves with the people around them with the situations around them but you're like they're, you're their safe space you're the one person they can really be themselves with and it's just, it's that kind of energy. It's just this very deep romantic energy. So anyway, with the Three of Swords, I think there was heartbreak in the past. I don't feel like this heartbreak is between you guys, though. It could be. For some of you, it could be. But for the majority of you, I don't think it is. I think this is referring... I think this is referring to a karmic situation. Like, the, the karmic was, like, kind of breaking their heart or just you know, using them or dragging them down or hurting them or just not understanding them. Or it could be, again, for some of you, there could be like a custody battle. So it's like it's hurting them being away from their son or their daughter or whoever. Uh, or like having to be tied to the karmic and not wanting to be tied to him or her anymore. It's just that kind of energy where there's like some kind of pain and obligation there. But they're moving forward away from that. Whatever it is, I see success. I mean, I, it looks like it's successful, whatever's going on there. It's like they're with a chariot right here. They're moving past that three of swords energy, that pain, that heartbreak, whatever the karmic did, didn't do, trust issues, um, custody battles, uh, old stagnant living situations, stagnant jobs, just stagnant, unhappy, numbing energy in general. They're moving forward past that. They want out of that. They're like, they want to end stagnant jobs. They want to end stagnant relationships. They want to end stagnant living situations. They want like a whole new fresh start. Um, I don't know why whole new world from Aladdin just popped into my head. <laughs> it's a very cute energy. I like it. I really do like it. The Eight of Swords, so the Eight of Swords traditionally, you see this Eight of Swords by the King of Cups right here. So the Eight of Swords traditionally is somebody who has all these swords around them and they have their castle right in front of them and they don't realize that they have it. They have this way out, but they see all the swords around them and so it's like they can't, they're, they're in this victim mentality. Like they can't see that there's a way out right in front of them. And I feel like your person finally sees that there is a way out. So I don't know if you messaged them recently and you said like, hey, I'm here for you or you just said something that gave them an opening or they're just thinking about the past, but there's something regarding you that's making them super happy right now. Like really excited, really happy, really like just childlike pure loving energy is what i'm getting from this group on both sides yours and theirs i feel so it's like with the eight of swords it's like they realize their castle and their home and their abundance is right in front of them they stop looking at the swords around them and stop feeling trapped and realize that all they have to do is walk forward walk right out of out of that energy and just go to their castle you know just wake up <laughs> they woke up basically is what, is what i'm getting here and they're getting in this King of Cups or Queen of Cups energy. Again, this could be male-male, could be female-female, could be male-female. It's however it resonates with you. Um, female-male, whatever. Just you know what your story is, you know? 
they're yeah they're they're waking up they're having these uh, epiphanies they're getting into this braver energy they're like it could be with the lion's gate too it makes sense it's a lot of high vibrational energy a lot of like road opening type energy there's a portal open on the eighth so lots of good energy coming in for you guys just keep doing what you're doing keep up this high vibrational energy if you're sending them healing love good wishes just keep that up keep that path clear and open for them to come forward and and run away with you basically uh in a king of cups it's like it's somebody who's vulnerable and open and romantic and stable and they they know they're just they're emotionally available they they know what they want you know they're they're led by their heart not their head like the king of swords is you know the king of cups is somebody like that's more heartfelt and emotional and vulnerable and it's like that's the kind of connection that you guys have you have this very deep um bond probably a psychic bond too i mean if you have that kind of vulnerability with somebody i'm guessing it's probably like a soulmate or a twin flame and there's that's you know there's a usually a psychic bond that comes with that you know the past life connections and whatnot so yeah they're feeling really vulnerable with you they're feeling really open with you really excited really hopeful about the future with you and with the sun they're wanting to move forward with you they're wanting to just um they're wanting to just just start over with you basically with the knight of swords i feel like there might still be some um like worry doubt fear pain you know you see this knight of swords here like you see this this character that's still like still healing so i think it's just saying like be prepared for that like even if you guys do run away together you do start this life together be aware that they're gonna have damage from whatever it is this three of swords eight of swords energy that they were in in the recent past or they're just now getting out of be aware that they're not just going to heal from that overnight. Like, you probably already know that, but it's just kind of a reminder. Like, they might, if they have kids with the ex, they might still have to see their ex for the kid's sake. Like, the karmic, they might, they're, they, she might, he or she might still be in the picture if they have kids. Not romantically necessarily, but there, there's still going to be some connection there. Um, just for the kid's sake, at least. Uh the karmic might kind of try to make his, his or her life a nightmare for leaving. It's, it's also, it's just talking about trauma, basically. It's like nightmares, trauma, pain, heartbreak, betrayal, trust issues. It's like your person is really vulnerable with you. They really are open with you. They are wanting this fresh start with you. But just understand they're going to be really vulnerable sometimes. Like they might cry sometimes. They might have nightmares. They might have, if the karmic was abusive, like verbally or physically abusive, that would make sense. I feel like this, if this is a man, I feel like this man has very, like, um, he's in, like, a very feminine energy right now. He's in, like, a very vulnerable energy. So, you know, be prepared for that. Like, I mean, be prepared. It's good. It's beautiful. It's so pure that he's, like, he's open with you. He's vulnerable with you. It's such a, it's such a beautiful energy that he's, he trusts you that much, you know? So it's just saying, like, be gentle with him or her. Just, like, hold him, cuddle him watch movies with him, tell him he's safe, tell him he's loved, like, be really gentle and easy on him, don't go, no, no harsh, intense energy just yet, um, because, again, he's going to be healing from the karmic or whatever that situation was, I feel like there's just, there's trauma there, uh, and so he might just, he might have some trust issues for a while, he might just, just be damaged overall, you know, I feel like there was quite a lot of betrayal in that situation, um, and so he's just, I feel like your person is very innocent. Like they're very, they're naturally very trusting and loving and the betrayal or the trauma or abuse that they just faced is like kind of mess with them mentally and emotionally. It's like, they just, they want to believe the world is good and pure and they're having a hard time believing that fully right now. You know what I mean? So there's, there's going to be nightmares. There's going to be trauma. There's going to be breakdowns where they cry where they're upset where they're angry where they're confused um you know there's there's going to be some stuff that you'll have to work through together is what i'm feeling for this and for those of you where it's not a third party i mean it's just a third party energy so this could be a like a person but third party could also be like a job that just dragged him dragged him down it could be um like a living situation like a bully roommate or something of that sort 
a bully friend, just something, something that was just hurting him and dragging him down a lot that he's finally breaking free from. But again, it's still going to be a healing process and he's going to want your support and love through that healing process that he's going through. But he is looking for, he or she is looking for there. This is again, very similar to the sun energy. It's wanting to start a new life with you. It's seven of swords running away, running, running away with you basically is what I'm getting for this. They want to run away with you. They want this new life. <laughs> Let's see what final messages we can get. So it's good. Yeah, they're, they're wanting to come through with a message. Just remember, again, gentle energy with them. Gentle energy. They're very sensitive, very vulnerable right now. They have to go through this healing process. Even if you guys are together when they go through the healing process, it's still going to be a healing process. So let them talk about how they feel. If they do still have feelings for the karmic and they decide to leave and they decide to be with you, like, let them talk about how they feel, even if it's, like, kind of hurtful. If they need to vent about what the karmic did, like, if she or he abused them or cheated or tried to keep their kid away from them or hit him or hit her, whatever it might be, like, make sure, like, don't get offended by that. You know what I mean? Like, they just need to express themselves. They need to purge all this. They need to heal from this. They need to, they really need to express it. They need to be able, able to openly talk to you about how they feel. So when that, if that conversation does come up, which I think it probably will, or they're going to, you know, be upset and, and need to, to talk about what they're feeling inside, um, again, just be patient. You know, it might hurt you to hear about another, another woman or another man, but it's like, it's an important part of their healing process, process to be able to be honest about, um, about that. You know what I mean? It's not personal. It doesn't mean that they want the karmic back. It's just they're processing what they just went through. So just be patient. Be just really be sensitive with them and really listen to them. And and yeah, let them go through this healing process. Remember how vulnerable they are. Surrender frustration. Frustration does not open doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself and regroup so that you may approach the situation more calmly. So it's again what we were just saying just a reminder to really be gentle with your person when they come in. Even if they're running away, it doesn't mean the karmic is completely out of the picture. Um, just in the sense that maybe if there, there might be a kid in this in the, in the picture, so they might still be tied to them because of a kid. Um, and either way, even if they are cutting them out, they might end up like hoping to have a friendship with them. Um, they might just be he also just healing from this, you know, it's, it's, again, going to be, a, either way, they are going to have a lot of healing to do. It's going to be hurting them for a little bit. It's going to be this process. So don't get offended if they're not just, like, over and overnight. You know what I mean? Just be, be aware of that. Um, yeah, don't, don't get frustrated with them. You really got to be gentle with them. Surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. So again, let them feel what they feel. Let them express what they feel. Give them that, that safe space to just be themselves, to be emotional, to cry, to just be understood. You know, you've really got to be their safe space is what I'm getting from this. Surrender to play. Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. So surrender to play. That's like... Again, you have this playful energy, so it's like kind of bringing this lighthearted, loving energy into the connection. Like, if you guys start dating again, um, just going out and doing something fun. Just, just gentle, loving, sensitive energy is what they need right now. They need this safe space. They need to be cuddled and held and understood and listened to. And they need to just play and just, just this lighthearted energy is what they're needing right now. And, it, you know, the strong support as well. So... If this resonates, um, you know, I do in-depth readings. My information is below. If you want me to look deeper into the situation, into, you know, how you can communicate with this person, how they can communicate with you, when, if they're coming forward soon, um, and what they want you to know, we'll just, you know, I can I can go in-depth with this reading. This is a, This one was pretty easy to channel, actually. It came to me pretty clearly. It was very strong. It's a very strong love you guys have here. So if you're interested in a private reading, just message me. My, my information's below. Uh, subscribe if you like this reading. Thank you.